it to you. And once you get it working in a spin, you can just do it with your fingers like what I'm doing now. Just roll it and turn it. Roll and turn. Good afternoon, guys. Today, Christian and I are going to show you all how to make reverse wrap cordage. Click like, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll be right back with the rest of this video. All right, guys, we're back. I'm just going to collect some of these here. I'm just going to cut them off. That one. Let's hook down there. All right. Now I got a whole lot of these because I'm going to teach Crisaya how to weave a basket with it also and this is so pliable it's going to work just right for a lesson. Awesome guys, I'll be right back and I'll get started. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to make reverse wrap cordage with these grape vines here or uh, grape roots I guess I should say. Uh, and I'm going to do it big because I want you to be able to see it on video, like the different layers of it. Um, so how I'm going to start it is how many ever that I want to use. And I want them to be off-centered from each other, purposely so. Um, that way that they run out at different times. I'm going to start off with four pieces. put that small side this way okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by bending that about in half and it doesn't need to be in half I'd rather it be offset so that way that this one's running out before this one so I can add one back in so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn it I'm going to turn it away from me as much as I can see I'm going to twist it up like that and I'm going to pass it right back to myself just like that I'm going to hold it in my hand I'm going to take this side I'm going to twist it up real good. And it's best if you don't bring it over like that. I'm going to bring it to myself. Twist away from me. Away. Go away. And then pull back. You're making a codependent relationship. Pulling away. Pull back. Pulling away. Twist, twist, twist. Pulling it back, twisting it away, pull it back. See how that's starting to form right there? That's a nice chunk of rope. You can definitely do some serious tying with that. I am going to keep running this on down, and I'm going to get to the point where I'm going to add in another piece, and then I'll show you what I got. See here. How this side's getting a little smaller than this side. So what I'm gonna do is take a piece like this, and I'm gonna join it in about like that. And sometimes I even put a little piece of it on the other side too. Okay. This guy's trying to come back. Bring him here. Turn this guy away, bring him here, turn that guy away, and bring him there. See how that rope's coming in? This is a big, bulky type rope. As a general rule, my uh, reverse wraps turn out to be kind of pretty. And it, the more uniform your material is, the better it'll be, okay?
So there you go, guys. Now, I'm going to show you one more time. I showed you this so you could see it large. I'm going to show you with just two strands. You won't be able to see the detail, but you'll see the technique. Okay, and it'll be a lot easier. Okay, so I'm just going to start with... Kind of like that. It's three strands. <coughs> I'm going to use those two and those two. Okay. And sometimes, if you're doing something small, if you go ahead and knot it on the end, sometimes that can help you out. Oftentimes, instead of doing the knot, what I prefer to do is just to start with one, like this, and fold it almost in half. Right? So now it's turning against itself. Turn that one away, bring it back. Turn this one away, bring it back. Turn it away, bring it back. And I should have just used uh, just single strands instead of doubles. That's still pretty big. Now I'm just going to try it with just these two strands here, okay? And having just one strand, depending on your material, can be very difficult to twist. I'm going to start off with a different one so I have that stuff out of my way. Yeah, there we go. I like that one. That'll work. So this is a single strand here. All right. Fold it about in half. Start turning it on, bring it to you. Turn it on, bring it to you. Bring it to you. Turn it away. That's the biggest thing. Spin it away and bring it to you. Spin it away and bring it to you. And once you get it working in a spin, you can just do it with your fingers like what I'm doing now. Just roll it and turn it. Roll and turn. Roll it and turn it. Roll it and turn it. See that? My fingers here, roll, grab, turn, roll, grab, turn, roll, turn it, roll it, turn it. See that? My fingers here, roll, grab, turn, roll, grab, turn, roll, grab, turn. Just like that. You'll end up with a pretty rope looking just like that, guys. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click like, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends. I'll see you again with another video soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.